I recently saw a world map that was this big and it was pink. And I was like, when that heals, it's gonna look like you have a weird form of syphilis on your inner arm. Oh, f***ing compasses, roses, pocket watches, like... like circles, f***ing circles. What bothers me the most about it is the shit that comes out of their mouth when they're trying to explain why they want it. You know, I just really want, like, a lion to represent, you know, power and, like, you know, I go to the gym, so, you know, I'm, like, king. I want a crown. And then there's, you know, like, time, because I'm running out of time, so I want, you know, like, a pocket watch. Oh, my All God. Of them. Animals. F***ing the same lion head. Distorted what? woman face with the bear or the wolf on top. Uh, can play that like you. The f***ing facing forward lion. I'm really sorry if any of you have it, but I'm so over it. I can't go into the safari and take my own pictures. A lot of the times the best reference photos are the ones that have already been used so many times. And so this is what gets annoying, you know what I mean? We always try and choose the best reference photo, obviously when we can't take it ourselves. And that being said, when you've done that same theme so many times, you're like, well, I f***ing took the best picture that first time. Now what's gonna happen, you know what I mean? You kind of like scrounging and settling for photos that, you know, might work or not. You know inside that it's not as cool as that other picture. <laughs> I don't know the, the English word for infinito. That is the, the eight reverse. Infinity symbol. Infinity, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot of infinity symbols. I don't know. I just don't like infinity sign, you know? <laughs> These people are always the one with a bigger meaning and they always want the small Pinterest, everybody tattoo stuff, you know? So for me, I'm just like, I just don't get it. Micro tattoos. <laughs> no one wants to say it. I'm gonna say it. The auto cry sh Like, I'm <laughs> so like. Oh man, auto cry is a whole other thing. I listened to an interview with him too, and he's like, I don't, I don't even care about tattooing. I'm just trying to make money. It looked like someone bought a machine off of eBay and just went to town on somebody. And like, I know that's maybe a trend right now, but like, y'all are spending so much money on something that's gonna look like shit in like four years. I hate now you see, you see artists just made that small dot. Oh, small bro. Small dot here. It's more- Or like a- Tiny- Equal sign, little line, two yeah, lines. Yeah, here. What's that? My son can do that shit. That's <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, my grandma <laughs> have a yeah. shaky. I give it to my kid. Yeah, uh, she was yeah that's true. That's 1500 be yeah. like four dots. Yeah. 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 Then, then, down, famous, boom, million followers and spends. It's a yeah. shit. Yeah, it's not it's a shit. It's a shit. I don't, I don't hate styles. I, I just hate. I hate people. Like, 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 I'll be honest with you, man. Like, I don't hate styles. I just hate my because I think that you know. You, I don't, I don't know, man. Just. This people work the f out of me. That's pretty much it. My biggest mistake? Probably tattooing my homegirl's boyfriend's name on her, and then they got married like three days later, and I had to cover it two weeks later. I spelled grateful wrong on his neck. It wasn't even small, was it? No. It was no. huge. No, it's the whole thing all across. How do you spell grateful? It was her first tattoo, and she wanted to get Psalms 316 or Psalms, something Psalms, but there was a S and I put the S at the end of Psalms and it was palms. And so she looked at it and was like, oh my gosh, it's so cute. And I'm like, oh yeah, cool. G-R-A-T-E-F-U-L. <laughs> well. How did you spell it? G-R-E-A-T. She came back crying, bro. Like, Did she really? Yeah, she came back crying. I was like, oh, oh my gosh. Oh man. And I was like, I can I can cover it. And I was like, dang, man. I gotta learn how to read. As soon as you do it, you see the sweat beads start yeah, coming down, yeah. you know he fed up. <laughs> 20 minutes later, he's smile back on his face. Like, yep, covered that up. He ain't never done that <laughs> okay, last year I got this good client of mine and I put this, uh, we put these uh, Chinese characters on his elbow. And I do Asian work, you know, I do Japanese inspired work all the time. But I, I hadn't slept much, he's a longtime customer of mine, so I was a little bit more lax. And we put these characters on his elbow, this just came to my mind. And they, we tattoo him, totally done, he calls me up, he's like, bro, he's upside down. I said, just stand upside down, dude, what the f Like, what do you want me to do? I said, now, now you know you're official tattoo, uh, you know, veteran, because you have your whole body's almost tattooed and you gotta have one f***ed up tattoo. So I tried to sell it on him. Like, you're not a real customer until you've had it, uh, until you got a f***ed up tattoo. So 
That's what happened to that. But check this out. I didn't talk to that dude for like a year and a half. I thought he hated me. I thought he skipped town. And then one day he hits me up. He's like, dude, you ready to do my whole back? I'm like, what? I thought you hated me, fool. Like, you know, but eh. sometimes bad things turn into good things. So I did flip that story around, literally. Something like that. I don't know. Where do we start? <laughs> I've, I mean, I've been tattooing a long time, so I've done a lot that I regret, but I think the one that sticks out the most for me, Florida. Florida is... Florida's nuts. The first tattoo I did when I moved to Florida um, was a f***ing Confederate flag. Very young in my career. I think I was tattooing maybe six months. I, like, I just started the job. Like, what am I supposed to, like, make a scene? Like, f*** this mother Like, come outside. A mom brought in their... 15 year old daughter I think it was and she wanted a playboy money and I tattooed it and the minute I finished I was just like what the f did I just do and then my boss yelled at me and I was allowed to do it Florida's rude. you can tattoo a 10 year old as long as the mom brings him in I, I go I try to talk to the manager I was like yo do I really have to do this mind you I just started and she's like yeah you know this is the job I'm like all right <laughs> no problem I was like a 19 year old girl and she came in and she wanted boyfriend's name down her whole arm. And she was like, pretty small, pretty young, first boyfriend probably. I was like, I, I think this is a terrible idea. You should probably not do this. And she was like, well, oh, I think it's great. Uh, ended up doing it anyway. So she got her boyfriend's name Ramsey's down her arm. And I was like, Ugh. the whole time I'm like, I'm so sorry. Did you meet Ramsey's? Mm -mm. He never showed up. She was trying to get him there and he was like, no. <laughs> I was like, oh, this shit. that's not good. That's not a great sign. First he came in, booked the appointment, and then showed up a week early for the appointment, drunk. And I was like, whoa, please leave. You're also drunk and you don't have an appointment. So he came back. It was a little heart with this girl's name in it, but it wasn't his girlfriend, it wasn't his wife. And she lived far, far away. And they only talked through messaging and uh, FaceTime. And I was like, well, why aren't you guys together? Why are you getting this girl's name? Like, if it's not serious. And he goes, I know she'll never be mine, but I'm okay with that. And her husband, he's okay with her having a relationship too. Wow. And I was like, you know what? You do you, you're happy. He knows eventually it's gonna break off and that's it. Sell him some Sharpies. Tell him drawing on himself. He needed more than a Sharpie. He needed some, <laughs> <laughs> some psychological dating advice, help yeah. and dating advice. So one time this kid came in in my early days of tattooing and he wanted a, a gun right on his face, just like a little pistol. And uh, the, it was a, he was a rowdy ass kid, so I wasn't really like too surprised by it. He already had face tattoos and stuff. So I did it and it, I mean, it looked like a gun on his face, you know what I mean? It wasn't nothing special, but then I remember that the next week his dad kicked him out of the house. He lost his job over it. So then he came back like a month later and got a big ass dragon on his whole face just to cover the thing. And, it wasn't necessarily that I regretted it. It was just kind of like I told him at the time that I thought it was a stupid decision, but I mean, I'm also not his dad, so I don't really, you know, care that much. <laughs>